Good morning, lady. It's not morning. It's, uh... What time is it? Let's see what time it is. No, it's not morning. It is... 1.55. And Mama made a bunch of bees mad. And uh, we're going to be fighting them. Washing this and that yeah it's pretty 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 dirty might want to wait until these bees calm down But anyway, I, I sprayed some stuff on it to get the bugs off. I even sprayed the window. Um, I sprayed the bumper and stuff with this. I sprayed the window with that. Uh, my favorite car wash. Like $4, $5 and something at Walmart. So we're going to let the bees calm down a little bit, probably. I don't know why they're after me, but okay. we got a bee in the bucket. Don't know if you can see that. So maybe if we, maybe when we start washing, that water will go everywhere and I'll get rid of some of these bees. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, I got attacked. Okay. I'm going to wash from the back first. Be right back. Okay guys, so we washed all the vehicles. I didn't really show it because y'all probably seen me do it over a million times. Y'all wanna see something cool about this? That's a lot of pressure out of one little water hose nozzle. And there's nothing inside of it that does that. Kink in the hose, kink in the hose. There it goes. Whoa! Got wet. Phone even got wet. Okay, I gotta put y'all down because it takes two hands to do this. Okay. So, as you can see, there's nothing in it. If I can't get it opened. Is that opened all the way? Yep, it's opened all the way to the max. Opened all the way. But anyway, that bucket is staying there to drain out. Uh... Tomorrow the truck gets to go to the shop. I don't know how long it's going to be in the shop. It may take a day. Uh, we, so we may lose the truck for the day. I don't know. Uh, it didn't really specify. Specify. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. 
But I got to go to Walmart anyway after I leave there. Because my safety glasses broke. Uh, for the new subscribers, this is a five-speed manual. Uh, here's how many miles we got. Dang B. So anyway, um, this is a bit of a short video. So this is Sunday. Tomorrow will be Monday. Y'all won't see this probably until Wednesday. Uh, since I didn't really add anything to it. So, yeah. We'll see y'all later. Peace. Well, um, it is 1.54. And I got a question on one of my videos of what is my new iPhone it's the uh, iPhone XR uh, somebody also was wondering well I know somebody's gonna be wondering why is Ru why isn't it Rudy's link for his channel in the description box below that is a different story um, but if you see uh, that I put jukeboxes link to his speaker radio in place of Rudy's YouTube channel uh, there's a reason for that if jukebox wants me to tell part that whole story I will I wouldn't mind doing it but since it has stuff to do with Jukebox and Rudy, I'm not going to say nothing about it. Because I don't want to get nothing started. So, I'm not, so that's why I'm not really saying nothing. But as you can tell, the truck is not here. It is in the shop. Uh, they put the battery tester on the truck and it just happens to be the battery. The alternator is healthy. Um, the battery is six years old. It was my screen is doing something weird, but the battery is six years old and it was starting to show effects of being bad. So he's gonna replace that, change all the spark plugs, the spark plug wires, and put another serpentine belt on the motor. Be good to go i told him if he wanted to he could fix the leak on the washer reservoir i'm not really worried about that because as y'all know i usually try to keep the windows clean especially with this i'm gonna take me a can of this and we're going to walmart thursday and i'm gonna buy some of those blue towels and you know and clean the windows I may not do that. I don't know. But we are buying two new phone stands. One to hold this phone. And one to hold this phone. Because y'all been asking a, for a long driving video. And I'm going to give it to you. Um, I just got to clear some of the stuff off of this phone. So it can hold all of that video footage, right? Um... Because, you know, it has to hold video footage. And as, and I've already uploaded it. Uh, I put Tony Justice new music uh, with part of that driving video. I took some of those fil films back and created a driving video with it. Um, you know, I'm trying to be more creative. Trying to be, trying to get back into YouTubing. Uh, cause it's taken me a minute to get back into it since I've been working. Uh, speaking of work, I have to be at work. Like, here real soon. So, anyway, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here. We'll pick it back up tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and have this one uploaded for Wednesday morning. Tuesday morning and um, yeah 
we'll start a fresh start on Tuesday. After this video uploads on Tuesday, we'll start a fresh video. Uh, and I probably won't release it until after Thursday. And then there probably will not be a video Friday. But there will be one Saturday and possible... And there will be one Saturday and Sunday. Uh, of course, whatever I record on Saturday will be up on Sunday. Whatever I record on Sunday will be up on Monday. Whatever I record on Monday will be up on Tuesday, right? So, anyway... I want to show y'all something really, really, really cool and strange. Uh, let me turn the camera around. Okay, so, and yes, the graphics are better because I'm recording off of an iPhone. So, this is a project that my mom has been working on for a while. As you can tell, it's an old Chevy pickup. an old body style pickup it's a 65 Chevy step side pickup here's the bed to it now here's what's strange last time I seen a motor inside of a vehicle the motor set aligned with the fan right well, let's see if I can do this. And here's the motor. Don't that look like a red Cummins engine? That's what I told Mama. But anyway. Let's see if I can. I put this engine inside of this truck for kicks and greens. Just to, just to see what it looked like. Uh... But anyway, let me see if I can't get it to sit on here. But that's how it looks like. Uh, last time I seen one of these engines, I'm sure that it's actually set up higher than that. I don't think it's set at the bottom below that fan. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think these are like the mirrors and stuff. Uh, the hubcaps, the rims. Obviously, these are the tires. Here's the rims. Got all kinds of cool rims on here. Look at that. Some cool rims. Um, and then, she bought her a new toy. She told me not to use, which I would have no reason to use it. Uh, basically, you plug this in. See, it has a pressure gauge. You plug this in. And then I believe, I believe, you put the airbrush on this end. I think this is paint thinner. Something like that. And here's the little airbrush that you plug into it. I don't know. I haven't seen no, my mom use it, so I couldn't. I'd be lying to you if I told you how to use it. Um, but anyway, this is what she has. I was going to go to that Hobby Lobby and see if I can't find me a semi truck to put together you know for a YouTube video or some good creative content but I don't know I didn't do it so my creative content is to tell you about like a lawnmower the vehicles uh, and you know what not I did, did not record this, but I did cut a tree down with the new chainsaw. And somehow or another, I got poison sumac. I didn't get it from cutting that tree down. I don't know where I got sumac at. But 
that's what I got. It's been actually clearing up. I got that calamine lotion I've been putting on it, so. Anyway, I'm going to not end the video just yet. What was I, I was going to show y'all something. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you something that I found out in the truck. It was called floating gears. Somebody asked me. Somebody asked me how to float gears in a five-speed manual S10. Uh, I can tell you how to. Uh, basically, what you do is if when you go from first to second, can't really float the gears. I mean, you can, but you have to make sure that RPM gauge is like in the right spot then shift it uh third second the third the same way now third or fourth is pretty darn easy um i usually have the needle above between the two and three thousand rpms and then i'll shift it uh floating gears you do not use a clutch and it's hard on the gears um you can do it in an Ethan Fuller transmission, semi-truck uh, transmission, but it's made for that. Uh, but, however, it's not really considered inside of a vehicle with a manual. The only vehicle with a manual that you can shift without clutching is something like my mom's RAV4, where it has select shift. Um because it has a automatic clutch in it but um anyway we're gonna go ahead and get out of here uh hope you liked today's video and yesterday's video <sighs> with that being said peace I want to soak up every second